My name is Pradul and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be reviewing products that are on Nykaa's best seller list. So Nykaa on their app has an entire section wherein they talk about their best sellers. So a lot of their best sellers are very generic products that I've already used. I feel like that a lot of people already use like for example the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation or the Clinique Moisture Surge. So products like that I feel like people already know are great. So I wanted to try out products that I haven't tried out before and are still on the best sellers list. So in every category mein they they have multiple options so like foundation maybe two three best sellers hai. concealer maybe hai so i've picked and choose products that i feel like aren't talked about much or i haven't tried out in the past so yeah if you're looking for beauty recommendations if you are wanting to buy some new products i feel like this is a good video for you let's get started with today's video okay let's start with skincare the serum that is a best seller on nykaa is by the ordinary so this is the niacinamide and zinc serum 10% niacinamide and 1% zinc now niacinamide is amazing i feel like everyone can use it it's supposed to even out your skin tone minimize the appearance of your pores Let's try it out. So I've been using this serum for a week now and the minute I put this serum on it instantly hydrates my skin. Other than that to be very honest I don't see a significant difference in my skin but it's very lightweight and very moisturizing. Within seconds it's gone. I can't even feel it on my skin. So this is a product that you can use both at night and in the morning as well and this is fragrance free in case you're wondering. I feel like ordinary in general does really good skincare products. I don't think I've come across a product from Ordinary that I've disliked. So yeah, that's my little review on this one. The next product that we have is a moisturizer. Now this one is by Nivea. It's the Nivea Soft. I would say it's a really good product if you have dry skin and my skin also really enjoyed it in the winters but i feel like it's a little heavy on my oily skin during the summers if i'm going to be doing a full face of makeup like heavy makeup i really enjoy it because it really helps me prep my skin but yeah going back to what i said if you have dry skin you are going to love it it smells very very nostalgic love the fragrance it's a very like overall feel good kind of a moisturizer ekdam hi hydrated my skin feel kar rahi hai It's definitely a really good product. I have actually used it in the past as well, um, apart from using it for this video, and I think it's a great product. Lip product, I feel like everyone can guess. It is by Laneige. This is a newer version that they've come out with, and I have the variant Gummy Bear. I know the original pots are so so popular, and for good reason. They are amazing. I feel like if you want to invest in like a little bit more of an expensive lip balm, that's worth it. Def Definitely, that is the one. It's actually not even a lip balm. It's like a lip mask. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's so so good. But I do get that while traveling, it can be a little bit of a hassle to dip your fingers into the pot and apply it. Which is why this is absolutely perfect. And this gummy bear variant is really nice. If you're a '90s baby, do you remember that there was this one thing called marbles? Um, or usme purple color ka ek marble aata tha. It tastes exactly like that. It's grape grape flavored basically makes my lips feel so hydrated raat ko agar main ye laga ke so in the morning i'll have amazing soft lips one thing i do want to add is that maybe this is just something in my head but i feel like the original pot is better like slightly better than this one the formulation is probably the same there's just a difference in flavor and packaging but for some reason i feel like wo pot is magical but yeah this product also is amazing let's get started with makeup now this product is definitely a luxury product but i've heard so many good things about it from everyone i'm talking about the too faced foundation the born this way foundation i am in the shade praline so basically i am kind 
kind of trying to search the foundation for me that I could potentially wear on my wedding day. I have been trying this foundation out for a while. Let me tell you what I think about it. First of all, the shades that this foundation offers are insane. So, so many shades to choose from. Do you see how full coverage this foundation is? And this is just the first layer. It's very buildable. I personally don't build on top of this because I feel like Itna coverage is really bahut ho gaya. This is the before and this is the after. I know everyone's gonna come at me for the shade, but guys, it matches my neck perfectly. My face is a lot of different colors. If you have pigmentation, if you have a darker skin tone, you know what I mean. My upper lips are a different color, my forehead is a different color, but I've been matched at the Nika store and this matches my neck perfectly okay so this is what the after looks like i've applied it all over my face it's very very full coverage but that is exactly what i'm looking for also maine kuch bhi concealer nahi lagaya maine kuch bhi set nahi kiya hai this is what it looks like it is matte ish finish but it's very skin like like in person it makes your skin looks so flawless every time i wear this foundation i have received so many compliments on my skin and i have been insecure about my skin all my life so i feel like when i get compliments about my skin and especially how my skin looks like with a layer of makeup on i love it it's my favorite compliment i will say this is definitely a really good competitor it's up there it might just be the foundation that i will end up getting married in i love this foundation it's expensive but if you have a special day coming up or if you want to invest in an expensive luxury foundation go for this one okay concealer is on clearly i'm going for like a very heavy base today let's set it in place the best seller in terms of loose powder is this one by plum it's their banana powder it's called the all set to go banana powder powder now i i don't think i've ever come across a banana powder that i actually enjoy no banana powder is yellow enough for me i'm a little bit skeptical i really hope that this doesn't ruin my base packaging is cute it comes with a little mirror and a puff which i think is great if you especially want to travel with it like put it in your purse okay i just flipped it over to get some powder out and it's everywhere there's no like sifter in the middle packaging needs to be worked on for sure right off the bat that's something that i can say i always apply my powder like this it's a very weird awkward angle but it works i'm going to try kind of baking with it It's not bad at all. The shade also worked out for me. I will say that. Just seamlessly blended into my skin. So this side is without the powder and this side is with the powder. I think you can clearly see a difference. The powder is really good. I quite like it and I will end up using it for sure even after this video. Like my under eyes it's almost kind of blurred them out and it's filled it in also really well if that makes any sense. I quite like the puff also that it comes with. It's very soft and blends the powder very very smoothly. I think other than the packaging, I think the product is really really good. The price point is also not bad. I think when it comes to sugar, I don't think I have used a lot of products from them at least recently. I am not using any products from them. So, it's nice to try out a new brand. I can see why this is a best seller. Bahut acha hai. I'm just a little iffy about the packaging. I mean, it's just going everywhere. It's a problem for another day, I guess. Do you see that? But credit where credit is due. It's an amazing powder. Definitely you can try it out. Time for setting powder. This is by Pack. This is their micro finish makeup fixer. I feel like I've tried this product before. Like years Years ago, pre-lockdown, I feel like if it was launched back then, I have a feeling I have used it. Let's try it again today. Smells very familiar. I love the very fine mist. It does say micro finish makeup fixer. Quite aptly named i personally really hate it when setting sprays leave little splotches of the mist 
on your face and it ruins your makeup. This one did not do that at all because the mist is so fine. Looks quite nice to me. I actually missed a step which is highlighter. Now this is by the brand Swiss Beauty and it's their liquid highlighter. I have the shade 02 Gold. I think Swiss Beauty overall does quite nice products. Very very affordable obviously. But overall jitna many use kiya mujhe kafi achche lage inke products. Let's see how this one does. Yeah, I had a feeling that it will pump in the pump. Usually, liquid highlighters are not there, but yeah, it's not so good this pump. Like, it's not really picking up any product, and neither is it dispensing any product. Regardless, let's try it out. I'm just worried that it doesn't ruin my base. Because you know there are times when highlighters and blushes just break your foundation. Pretty did not break my foundation either. Puff ke saath to bahut achche se apply ho gaya. Glow is also very pretty. Glitter particles bhi nahi hai. Ekdam glowy aur pretty hai ye. Let's try it with a brush. I'm using the Simba Lifestyles brush. Yeah, I would say it works with a brush as well. And with your fingers as well. Bahut sundar hai highlighter guys. I love it. And it's so affordable. 100% recommended. I totally see myself using this every single day now. I love the beautiful glow that it's giving me. Natural lag raha hai. Okay, most of my makeup is done as you can see. But we have one more lip product left. Probably the most expensive product that we have in today's video. Maybe even more than the foundation or comparable to the foundation. Here I have the Dior's Lip Glow Oil. This has been a viral product. All the popular girlies have been using it with lip liner. So I'm all ready with lip liner. I've been saving this product to try it out with you guys. Love the applicator. It's very chunky. Very nice. By the way, I have the shade Mahogany. It has a very nice minty fragrance. Definitely very oil consistency, um, very moisturizing like the name suggests. This is what it looks like. Definitely very pretty. Usually lip glosses don't look very good on me like the shades but this mahogany color is looking very nice. Let's talk about the actual product. So it's very hydrating as I already mentioned and it's like a proper oil, like a thick oil. It's not like a lip gloss. It's giving you that glossy look for sure but it is a little heavy on the lips. Heavier than regular lip glosses doesn't really bother me but I just think it's something that I need to add in see it's very pretty but I feel like for the price it just doesn't make sense like I wouldn't go out of my way and buy another shade because I feel like there are so many lip glosses out there and even in this color that I could find for a fraction of the price it's just the price that's an issue for me the actual product is really good the product doesn't justify the price in my head but if you do have the budget for it if you have been wanting to get this for a while and if you don't mind splurging this is what it looks like and you can get it for yourself almost done with today's video but we have some body care products that we need to talk about let's start with this one so this is the Nivea's pearl and beauty deodorant this has zero percent alcohol it's supposed to last on you for 48 hours let's start with the way it smells it smells very very fresh. That's the best way I can explain it. And thoda sa Nivea ka classic smell bhi hai, but overall it's very very fresh smelling. Now I have been using this because obviously this is something that you need to test out for a long period of time. So I will say that this product once I apply it, it definitely controls my odor and my sweat as well. I personally don't really sweat as much. So I'm not the best person to give you review on that. But odor definitely. There's no BO at all after I apply this. And another thing that I really like is like it comes out like transparent. In the bottle, it looks milky. So, my biggest concern was that it will transfer to my clothes, but it's not like that. It's a good, affordable deodorant that does the job. Very simple, sweet product. I don't have anything else to say about it. So, yeah, it did work for me personally. The next product is by Victoria's Secret and it's their body lotion in the fragrance Pure Seduction. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you might know that Pure Seduction is my signature scent, if you will. I've been wearing that fragrance for almost a decade I want to say gone through 
मल्टीपल बॉटल्स ऑफ द फ्रेग्रेंस लिटरली यूजिंग वन राइट नाउ ऑलमोस्ट खत्म हो गया मैं रोज लगाती हुई ये फ्रेग्रेंस एंड इट जस्ट स्मेल्स Amazing. It's very sweet. Is the best way I can explain it. It's very very sweet, and it smells like plums. That is also another way I would like to explain it. जब मैंने देखा कि ये product is a best seller, I was excited because I've never tried this product. So it's the same fragrance but in a body lotion variant. I have already used it. Let me just show you how watery it is. The actual texture of the product is very very light. It's not like a thick body butter. It's a lotion which I think is perfect now for the summer season that's coming. Smells like pure seduction. बहुत ही लाइट यू कांट लाइक स्मेल इट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ इट बट आई विल से डज इन लास्ट ऑन यू अ लॉन्ग टाइम द फ्रेग्रेंस गोज अवे इन लाइक एन आर मैक्स आई पर्सनली थिंक दैट इट्स एन ओवर प्राइज बॉडी लोशन श्योर इट स्मेल्स ग्रेट इट्स मॉइस्चराइजिंग ऑल्सो आई वोट डिनाई दैट बट आई फील लाइक यू कैन फाइंड चीपर ऑल्टरनेटिव इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बाय समथिंग प्योर सिडक्शन सेंटेड डेफिनेटली गो फॉर द बॉडी मिस्ट द बॉडी मिस्ट ऑल्सो डज इन लास्ट लाइक अ क्रेजी अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम बट यू कैन री अप्लाई यू नो द scent is just so good that i don't mind reapplying it every 3 to 4 hours and the last and final product that we have is a shower gel and it's by one of my most favorite brands sol de janeiro now again this product is an expensive product and i have used it in fact maine puri bottle khatam kar di hai now worth it obviously is very subjective but i will say if you're someone who enjoys a really good shower experience and if you want to splurge on a product i think it's worth it it's very moisturizing the body lotion and it makes your shower smell so so nice i always like to follow it up then with the lotion and then the mist it's like an entire luxury experience i feel like if you have a birthday coming up or if you want to treat yourself i think it's worth it <laughs> it's very very expensive so you make the choice for you and with that we have come towards the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy me reviewing all of these beauty products because i thoroughly enjoy it of course all the products that i've spoken about will be linked in the description box below i feel like overall all the products i quite like there wasn't a product that i didn't like if i'm not wrong so nike best sellers you're doing a good job like this video if you've made it so far to today's video make sure to leave this emoji in the comments down below and that's it i'll see you in my next video Bye